welcome to the BSI Standards Forum and our fifth annual BSI Standards Awards. It's a great pleasure to welcome you here today. This is your opportunity to hear about developments in your national standards body. We're very pleased to see so many standards makers here, pleased to see a lot of standards users here as well. We have policy makers and we have other interested and relevant stakeholders, so you're all very welcome. This is a chance for standards makers like myself and BSI and other interested parties to talk about standards that are in the making, issues that are affecting standards making, but also to show other people what this world is all about. Standards are very important for us because they are the basis or the rules by which we operate. The extraordinary thing about the last 18 months is that we have energised this discussion in the UK. Suddenly, it's all about standards. You need that, we need that for our economy, for society and for growth. I would like to thank BSI for the opportunity to speak today, so many of Britain's leading standards experts in the room. And looking at the agenda for the day, it's amazing the range of issues that you're involved in. It really demonstrates the importance and relevance that standards have for all of us and the importance of BSI's role in developing those standards. Standards are important to me. I can make sure that our machines can be sold internationally, they can be sold across industries. I can be included in all markets and I can be confident that what I'm designing is safe, it is good quality, it's going to last and people are going to be happy to use it. Graham, your view on the role that standards can play to support the UK's future trade relationships. How do you succeed in global trade? Well, the first thing is you have to know what you're buying and selling. You have to have confidence that what I say this is, you know you will get. And standards are right at the heart of that. Long before you get to regulation, standards in terms of communication, understanding, awareness of what you're buying is absolutely critical. And I think that in place of standards right at the heart of global trade is where we need to start our thinking. These forums are essential to make people realise that there's a bigger world beyond perhaps the work of a standards committee itself. Share best practices, share knowledge, share experiences and we're all richer because of that. An event like this is really important for networking to share experiences. Being able to talk to other conveners and committee members I think is a really important way for us to gather energy and to continue working hard. We've got 10 rooms for you to visit. In room number one uh, is a discussion about modern slavery. Colleen Theron is with us. I can assure you we've never had that discussion in this forum before. Tell us what we might expect. I'm going to give you some insights on um, some current trends around modern slavery, what's been happening in legislation and business, and I think the opportunity really to explore some of the challenges and um, some of the potential solutions. I think they're really enjoyable events, they're very relaxed, very friendly and particularly people who are new to standards making, they love to come because they get a real feel for what the you know, standards are all about, they get to see like-minded people and I just think it gives them a good grounding of, of what really goes on. I think that there's a really interesting mixture of people who are attending with different levels of expertise so the opportunity is to um, really get a sense of what industry is doing around standards and to share different insights. make it really worthwhile attending you'll feel very welcome you will always learn something new and it's actually a great place to broaden your horizons and get to meet other people so for our keynote address we'd like to welcome Andreas Ekstrom to the stage Andreas is an award-winning Swedish journalist author and digital futurist he wants to see a world in which we share the wealth not only financially but it's also in terms of knowledge and influence the decisions that we make together may very well end up being principles and guidelines for a hundred years to come. It's important that we get it right. We're not a big company, but at this moment in time, my voice and my vote is just as important as someone like Dyson, someone like Siemens. It's just as important. So having your voice heard and being part of the discussion to begin with, it's absolutely incredible and it's so important to be involved. We have about three billion people on the planet who have yet to experience the internet. If you are able to somehow provide the infrastructure for this, to lay out the technical groundwork or the, the software or the hardware, the legal groundwork, the cultural groundwork that's going to be needed for this, for a tool that people will be trusting around the world, yes, 
This is me digitally. If you can help build that, you're part owning the world. I promise you that. Well, we've had a fantastic day. It's always great to bring together all of the experts who participate in standards making in the UK, reward their excellent work, and celebrate the fact that we're out there really exporting UK soft power around the world through our standards making activity.